KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. It's the Weather Extreme Video. This is the morning edition for Tuesday, the 22nd of January. I'm James Spam. Alabama's weather dry today, but breezy and becoming cloudy. Rain tomorrow, then colder air on Thursday and Friday, and the weekend looks fairly decent. Let's take a look at things early this morning. There's the upper look across the country. Got a new trough in the western states. That is progressive, and that'll bring the rain in here tomorrow and clouds today. Not as cold this morning. Still some spots are below freezing, 27 for Gadsden, 37 at Birmingham. The winds have picked up overnight and the clouds have been increasing. And a pretty good chance we'll see highs up in the uh, 50s, 50 to 55 in most spots today. Around the nation, it's still really cold up in the northeastern states, the coldest air so far this season. And we will see a new surge of colder air down in here by Thursday and Friday. Winter weather problems today from Denver to Chicago, Milwaukee, and Detroit. Those areas under winter weather advisories or winter storm warnings. In fact, there's a blizzard warning for northeast Colorado this morning. But things are pretty quiet down here. We do note a wind advisory for middle Tennessee. It will be rather breezy today. There's the severe weather outlook today. No severe storms forecast. Tomorrow, we note there is a marginal risk of severe storms across the Florida panhandle from near Pensacola over to Indian Pass. And there could be some thunder for south Alabama, but... Uh, no severe weather expected for our state. And on day three, which is Thursday, maybe some thunder for the southern part of the Atlantic coast. But again, severe storms not expected at this point. Rain for the next seven days. Precipitation, I should say, this time of the year. The east is fairly wet down here in Alabama. Rain amounts between one and two inches. And a lot of this will be tomorrow. That'll be our big rain day over the next seven days. So model fans, let's go. This is the GFS. 06E run, noon today. There's your positive tilt trough to the west. Clouds increasing today. Pressure gradient tightens up, kind of breezy. We'll have a southeast wind of 12 to 22, and rain breaks out over Arkansas, Louisiana, Missouri. And again, snow from Denver up to Milwaukee on the north side of that in the cold air sector. Tomorrow, it goes wet. Surface low is over Michigan. We'll have rain much of the day. And uh, any thunder probably limited to South Alabama. And it's going to be a good rain. Rain amounts between one and two inches. Now, tomorrow night, yep, as the uh, rain ends and the cold air moves in, there might be a flake or two, a snow flurry somewhere, or maybe an ice pellet, a little patch of sleet, but we expect no accumulation, no impact. And Thursday, the sky becomes mostly sunny. The day will be colder with a high in the 40s. This is Friday. Friday morning will be below freezing. We're expecting a low in the 20s. And again, the high Friday should be in the 40s. So Thursday and Friday, cold and dry. What about the weekend, you ask? Saturday should be a bright, sunny day. We start the day, I'd say in the upper 20s in the high Saturday afternoon, around 50. Not too bad. A little clipper north of us. And Sunday, the clipper comes through and the GFS depicts the clipper passing through in dry fashion. Uh, the high Sunday would be in the 50s. Uh, just for the fun of it, let's check the European on Sunday. And again, it's totally dry. And again, this is the clipper might squeeze out a sprinkle somewhere, but uh, I, I, and we're going to leave that in the forecast for Sunday. We'll say some cloudy periods, maybe a sprinkle, but no big deal. And the high should be in the 50s. Let's go to Monday. We're dry. Lows, let's say around 40. High should be in the 50s. Another clipper north of us. Here's a week from today. This is Tuesday, the 29th. Another deep trough over the east. The clipper comes through. And the same thing. Uh, clippers typically don't have a lot of moisture. It could squeeze out a little bit of light rain on Tuesday. And as the cold air comes in, maybe a flurry on the backside. But again, this is a case where there should be no accumulation or no impact. Let's go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, 31st of January, another new trough in the western states. That just looks kind of dry with the winds veering back into the south. Snow fans, this is output from the European for the next 10 days. If you're looking for good snows, 
How about the Great Lakes, Milwaukee, Green Bay, Chicago, Grand Rapids? That's your place to be. And again, uh, for now, we see no meaningful snow or ice event for our state for the next seven days. And again, beyond that, there's no skill. But for the snow fans, understand, we've had our biggest snows in March and early April. We all know that. we got a long way to go. Here are the numbers coming off the European. You can see we warm up uh, tomorrow. We could be in the low 60s, but then highs drop in the 40s Thursday and Friday. And then a pretty good cold pop uh, Wednesday of next week. Uh, that might drop highs in the mid-30s around here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.